Hey, channel to my welcome. Please share, like, and subscribe. Talk mercy. Hey, how are you? How do you feel you reach uh, from the car? I feel very good and very excited. Uh, how was the game tomorrow? How uh, about the start? Finally, well, our room punch is here. So, this will be my room for three, four, three, three days. Win the bragging rights by the barest of margins and as the player walks into the stands we welcome them with the intentions of another thrilling swashbuckler while i welcome my co-commentator with a very big smile on my face and his as well liam bain welcome back liam and a very good evening to you thank you so much rohit and thank you to all the watchers and the fans and the supporters for tuning in and good evening to everyone as we take the mic on for this second encounter of the day which should be an absolute cracker Shillong Lajong finally back into the I League they had quite a few seasons where they really did well and this time round it will be about doing exactly the same versus a Mohammedan sporting side who started off quite well versus Azol in the last game the excitement levels are definitely very high. Finally back into the I-League. Can they take it by storm as they once did? We will find out over the next 90 minutes. Mohamedan Sporting put a ball into the box, but it's nicely dealt with to start off there by Daniel Gonzalez, the Brazilian. But now a chance for Mohamedan Sporting. Samuel, who scored the first goal of their campaign, almost trying to set up one of his players. And already there is a bit of a frenzy from Mohamedan Sporting as they try to get their first chance but possession has been given away there is a runner down the left and this is the first time we will see Muki in action in fact Miki I beg your pardon plays it inwards and Shillong Lajong trying to attack from the word go that's a decent ball never we have talked about Japanese players coming into the Indian mix we will never forget the likes of the ever hard-working Siwoka, in fact Ryuji Siwoka and definitely the Japanese bomber Katsumi Yusa a sensational name in Indian football let's see if Takuto Miki can leave his mark as well of course we have just started but what a frenzied start to this battle Shillong Lajong FC they are a team that likes to build from the back they rely on their high pressing unit and most importantly on the overlap in the wings Seri perhaps from Kasimov but you never know because it was opening up for a big chance for Shillong Lajong but this will be very pivotal Rohit because I'd like to see how Kasimov can play the rest of the game without committing a foul it's not going to be easy yes he'll have to be very very careful he'll now have to walk on eggshell something that we have not really seen Kasimov doing I'm sure Bobby Lingdo must have had a word with his wards there. And it looks like it's going to be Renan Paulino de Souza who will be going forward with that free kick. He sent uh, Buam up front. Renan setting himself up for what can be a pile driver only if he can place it on target. There comes the free kick, rams it at the wall. There comes the voice from Oman and Sporting coming all the way from the left. There comes the cross opportunity. However, the goalkeeper stands tall and eventually palms it away. Bishal Lama doing a decent work. 
at this game has started off really well and the good thing to see is that Shilong Lajong who are of course playing their first game extremely active on the two wings and they got their two goals from the right wing itself nicely done there by Remsanga this can be a goal scoring chance a bit of trouble there for Bishal Lama he was beaten as he came out but decent piece of defensive work once again Remsanga teeing up having played fires all together and Prince almost getting there his off the ball movement is also really nice that's a good ball from Mickey decent delivery as well I think that did come off Samad and it will be a Shillong Lajong corner very involved in the opening few minutes Kareem Sam as Andri Chernyshov would have liked to get that early goal but it wasn't meant to be they did score early on versus Aizol within the first seven minutes but now they have a corner to defend of Shillong Lajong's in the form of Hardy Nongri the skipper once again the stands at Naihati dreaming to the rafters uh, there comes the corner opportunity miles away that first grasp was definitely questionable that was bobbling off uh, his thighs there and when you're trying to control the ball with your thighs it's never really easy and it looks like Padam Chetri already is having a busy day in the office Mohamedan Sporting can now drive forward they've got the ball back they have a bit of space as they sent the ball forward unfortunately a very lackluster a very haywire pass from Kasimov he was uh, the crux of the Mohamedan Sporting attacking unit in the last game and once again these fans waiting with the bated breath that when will their team get the first goal so is this man as well and Rishon those complete strikers that we have seen decent ball through by Hardy in fact it's a very good ball and then another one straight through the center Samad will watch it out but every time Shilong the precision can also hone itself and now coming all the way from the left here's a chance for Mohamed in Sporting takes a shot but straight uh, to the likes of Bishal Lama who throws himself to the ground and comfortably collects it these two names uh, Liam to be honest will be the ones to watch out for one is definitely the likes of Remsanga who has been in or, or they haven't really shown too much flair it has been more about old school no nonsense defending there comes the cross opportunity Takuti in fact uh, Takuto could have actually steered the ball home from almost point blank range unfortunately his extended reach wasn't enough now you were speaking about no nonsense defending and that was a bit of a mishap from Joseph missing that one and sometimes breathe easy after that here comes Samad looks for a ball in again Prince is there it was always going to be an acute angle but he's getting a lot more involved in this game is the big number nine for Mohammed in Sporting that was a lovely ball all right but I think uh, alongside the brute force and power that they bring to the platter it is a treat for the eyes no oh, definitely it is as you see Allen with an opportunity to cross plays it into the path of one of the Shillong Lajong players and now it is sprayed backwards by Renan Paulinho who does like to hold on to possession rather than go for the creative pass here they come again there was a bit of a touch on it Karim cannot get a finesse touch this time round it was cleared by Joseph but Lajong will rebuild here is Allen who's at the heart of quite a few of and he's almost scored Olympicos in his earlier footballing history chance there the header not really on target from Karim Sam but the danger is not yet over here's a chance goes for an acrobat of time and now Shillong Lajong tries to drive forward this could have been a moment of negligence from Prince and would have eventually led in fact a moment but luckily for him, the whistle had gone earlier. Here come Shilong Lajong again. Takuto plays it through. This is a chance. Buam isn't able to turn. That is good from Joseph. And now Allen with a very good delivery in. There's a bit of pressure on Mohamed Sporting. And that is goal number one for Shilong Lajong. 
as they come back into the I League. It's none other than the Japanese Takuto Miki who gets the lead for the visitors and the stroke of half time. Venturing into the opposition's gate, into the opposition's den, the Japanese has dropped a bomb that would work a thousand miles. What a sensational half. Eventually gets it. It's played towards the far left. Nicely controlled. Tries to steer all the way in. Unfortunately, it looks like it won't be something significant enough for Big. Good work by him so far in the second half. And now eventually a ball sent forward. The flag has stayed down. Can be a top opportunity for Marvel and Sporting. David Amar shoots it and finds the equaliser. What a sensational welcome to the I-League. It's his second appearance and his first goal. Look at the crowd. They are absolutely elated. What a moment in the Nati Stadium. David Hamar once again to the party for the Mohammedan Sporting side. In the second half. Well, uh, this can be another chance for Mohammedan Sporting. There comes the cross. David so close yet so far. But the danger is still not over. As Mohammedan keeps enough confidence. I think that's the right time for him to start the game. Mohammedan Sporting on the move. That is a sensational throw ball. Could have been trouble. However, it looks like it's the goalkeeper, Bikash Lama, who's pulled off a crucial save at the expense of his own train. Oh, that is painful, I think, for Bikash. Jamsanga is complaining. I'm not too sure who went into him. But it's a lovely ball for Mango. It was Jamsanga. Oh, yes, that is very painful. Kasimov did really well after Ango, before Ango got the ball. And you can see a bit of a clash. The kind of challenge that we just witnessed when someone is just steaming in at you at full speed. It can be very, very challenging. So, but again, kudos to Bishal Lama. And it looks like he may have to be taken off. I think that is going to be the case. Which may bring on Neto Shaliu into the mix. We just wish him a very speedy recovery and not something serious. Maybe he can just take some rest and receive the primary treatment and be all right. But these definitely aren't welcome scenes for Shilong Lajong. Oh yes, didn't think it would be that bad but it looks like it will be a chance for Netho to come on and he has to be thrown straight into the thick of the action. You can see a lot of the more within sporting players just helping him onto the stretcher. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. Renan Paulino. In fact, uh, apologies, Daniel Gonzalez. The way he got beaten, that was extremely meek. Just that one outside dodge, and he was taken off his balance. And now it's a test for Neto because at the moment, Mormon Sporting is kind of breathing fire. And with the goal in their favour, they'll even be more primed to take those long ranges. Going off, we wish him a speedy recovery. Especially when you've got a new keeper, Neto, who's just been thrown into the mix. You've got 30 minutes. You've got a new goalkeeper onto the pitch. You've just scored a goal. This is the chance for Mohammed in Sporting. They've got to defend this one though. I think it went out of... Lajong can drive forward. They can have an opportunity knocking on the doors. This can be a shooting chance as well. Wonderfully steed up. There comes the opportunity and miss from point blank. Opportunity knocking on the doors. This can be a shooting chance as well. Wonderfully steed up. There comes the opportunity and miss from point blank range. That should have been taken with arms wide open by Sangti Shanglong. Unfortunately, he just couldn't keep it down. Each the 64th minute of the game you would expect those long balls to come in from your defence. So you will need a marksman as good as the likes of Eddie Gabriel. While we were talking about him, he was on the chase. Given the fact that he's got gigantic strides, he can pull the form. And once again, a sensational bit of work there by Vikas Singh. All now needs, knowing the fact that there is a revolution coming and Igor, and Igor Stimash is at the helm of it, will need someone who or will need a lot of coaches producing the goods for Mohammedan Sporting in this campaign so far.
Remsanga, who has been involved in a couple of challenges so far, needs to be careful as well. But what Mohammedan Sporting have not done in the last few minutes is actually take a shot at Nietho, who's come on. So that is something that they will try to do. ...into the mix. Danger still not over though. Shillong Lajong keeps on knocking on the doors and now they would like to use that left flank. Tries to cut back in. There comes the cross and the header drags it agonizingly wide. It's so much happening at the Naihat. In a way, in fact. That should have been better than that. You're playing around in this 80th minute and you're giving the ball away. Here comes the Japanese, Mickey, trying to cut back in. That's a lovely ball. Could have been a goal-scoring chance. But then blocked right in the nick of time. An opportune tackle there from Mormon and Sporting. And now they try and drive forward from the right, looking for some help. Turns around, plays it back to Kasimov. Kasimov using the central channel, looking for a few more numbers alongside him. Now steers it further. However, Shillong Lajong puts in a timely challenge. Tonmoy back to Kasimov. Kasimov desperately trying to control the ball. Does decent again. Back to Tonmoy. Looking around for more numbers. Vikas. Plays it towards the far right. Zoding Liana. However, excellently done by Shillong Lajong. A great challenge there by Kin Sai Lang Kongsit. Who has come over to Shillong Lajong from... He has been superb. There's the ball towards Hernandez. That's a bit of a clash of heads, and I think both of them will stay down. This is how to put those balls into the box. Like Remsanga, who gets a much deserved break. Great game from him. As always, what an addition he has been to the side. There have been some great signings, I have to say, from Mohammedan Sporting this season. Tag did go up. And I do understand your excitement, Rohit. It has been another incredible day of football in the I-League. A double header. This one, of course, closely, closely contested as compared to the first one. Srinidhi Tekin running rampage on Intakashi. And we have more action for you tomorrow, day after, and almost every day in the I-League. In what should be a memorable start off the left cut in and score but after that most of the time he's got the ball has been centrally so that has been a bit of an issue for him where he has to drop deep try and turn on a couple of defenders that's not really his game as we move closer towards the 90th minute joseph tries to get the ball away he falls and it is a free kick conceded by hardy who has played really well the Shillong Lajong captain just holding off Joseph for a second and he had to make that challenge. And he is quite an experienced player, has played for Shillong Lajong since 2016 and now has come back into the mix. And six minutes to take us through this matchup. Six minutes to pen history, six minutes to forge a drama written better than the story of Indian football. Marvel and Sporting on the drive. Shillong Lajong somewhat stuck. I think they have went into perennial reverse gear here. They are barely able to break free. Marvel and Sporting coming all the way from the right. Keeps the ball at their feet. Looking around for scoring chance. Their captain sends in a looping cross that goes straight down the throat of Neto. Who collects it and goes down. Yeah, Neto has done quite well since coming on. As I said, hasn't been asked to make any saves as such. Launches that one long as the one minute has been played off the six. Here comes Shillong Lajong again. Tanma is at a good job in that midfield. Does usually play slightly higher up the pitch but is doing really well here. Once again, Mohamed and Sporting trying to use the left wing ever since the introduction. It was not easy to cross them. They were always uh, keeping their opposition on the toes. So it was heartbreaking to see them getting relegated. But once again, they are a side that doesn't really take the fall easy. You know, we say that no matter how many times you fall, what matters? They are slowly going forward. Tonmoy on the ball. Zoding Liana screaming on the left. Plays it to the extreme left, in fact. 
before it could reach Vikas Singh. That was cleared away. Zoding Liana back on the ball, sends in a cross, headed away to safety by Shillong Lajong. And it looks like Mobile and Sporting will still have a say. Zoding Liana desperate to lay it down into the path of Vikas Singh, who still stays in the mix. There comes the cross, but straight into the safe hands of Neto Shaliu. He's proven to be absolutely unbeatable ever since he's come on. Yeah, because Singh needed to take a look at the run of Kasimov. He was empty and that's why Kasimov gave, gave him a bit of a mouthful. That should be that. And they've only had one meeting between them, these two teams, back in 2014. What a game that. Last chance if it is kept in. Yes, it is by David. The last throw of the dice for sure for Mohamed and Sporting. Into the 97th minute we go. And they will keep coming. A chance for a final cross. It is a delivery. David once again has to set it up for someone to shoot. Kasimov leaves it. The shot comes in. What a strike that was from Zoding Liana. But Nato has been superb. And he will take that ball to bed if he has to. We talk about uh, baptism by fire. Nato has been subjected to that. And he will come out unscattered. What a game he's had. What a game we have had. Eventually, that.